Hello everybody, this is Prince and it's 16th of October 2016. We've got almost two hours more to go to, for the electronic market open. And like always, we are watching the crude oil continuous non-expiring CFD market here. It's a daily chart and we're using the MetaTrader 4 platform. Just keep this in mind, please. This video is only for education and knowledge and information purpose only. Trading leverage products or uh, financial markets involves risks, so please consult with your financial advisor, people you can trust, before you make such uh, decisions on investing your money. All right. And before I proceed further, if you don't have a trading account, please click on the link below in the description box. I'm working with AvaTrade. Why? Because it's been more than nine years being a trader with them. They're offering a non-expiring non continuous crude CFDs. You can get a demo account for free. You can open a live account and they've got awesome compensation offer, a bonus offer. And I'm using MetaTrader 4 platform, multiple reasons. One of them is it's free. Number two, easy to use and it's very simple. And third, yeah, it's uh, easy to learn. It's faster. It's faster. Okay, so let's get, uh, let's get started. I'm going to try to keep the video as short as possible. This is a daily chart and I've got only... 13 electronic uh, th uh, 13 EMA exponential moving average. I want to zoom out a bit. Let's have a bird a bird's eye view. All right. You see this? We've got a support uh, at 26.04 region. That's one support, and we've got strong resistance area at 50.94. So 50.94 is our resistance, and 26.04 our support. Here you see uh, this is a very important level as well, 37.69, and when we started to move up, when the market touched 50.94, it pulled back and it did not really come. It came near 37.69, around 39.16, and then retraced back up. Now there are a few things that are gonna uh, that are gonna happen here. Now keep in mind, we've got uh, already the prices at resistance area. We have a higher high, but you see the distance here of this high. This price was touched on 8th of June and now here we touched on 10th of October just like four months after four months we tried to go back up and there are few reasons why I feel the market is really bullish okay first thing is we are still above the uh, moving average now I'm using here 13 moving average you can use 20 uh, 20 50 the idea is really the same Okay, it depends how long you want to stay in the market. So here's the thing. Now this is a swing low. We have a swing low here. There are two ways to trade it, like I said. Control shift D. Here is your swing low. Now if the market what has to do, if it's really by uh, the price should exhaust on 51.63 level, then the market should drop, pull back, and then start dropping again. And you can sell these pullbacks with the help of moving average. Okay, one way to uh, sell is like this. Otherwise, the, another second way, if the market is really bullish, let the market pull back towards the support area. Make let it make a reversal pattern, W pattern. I would suggest you see videos on YouTube uh, how reversal patterns look like on Japanese candlestick charts. This is how you can go up. This is the second way of trading the crude oil market. Another way is here. We already have a resistance here. You can put your buy stop above this area, or let the market go up, pull back, and then start to go flying up. And you can put your buy stop above the new swing high that will be formed. All right, that's the thing. So these, this is also a very critical level, 42.70. We can see here's a decent support on this area. Okay. Now, if you want to day trade, I don't really suggest you go for the day trading crude oil markets. I don't personally like it because it's my style or personality. And if you want to day trade, just a let's uh, let me give you a quick idea how I'm gonna do it okay if I have a red candle close below the EMA here like we have here okay here I would take a short trade with my stop loss here stop loss now when the trade reaches one to one ratio one to one or one to one and a half okay I would close 75 to 80 percent of my position and let the remainder float that's one way to do it. Another way is you can, again, uh, 
here's your support and here's your resistance right you can see it here if a green candle will open above these areas you can take a buy trade and keep your stop loss and if it now there are two things you can keep a stop loss below the resistance area or if you see a red candle close below the resistance area then you would you know exit your buy trade and you can reverse the trade another way is let the market come here pull back or you see a red candle close red candle close this is a red candle in yellow color <laughs> okay when it closes below this area you can enter a short sell trade and you know continue the trend towards the downside towards the next support areas or swing levels to exit your trades this is your main key support area or if it fails if the okay then let the green candle close up and take a buy trade and keep your stop losses in position all right so this is how i would trade it so hope the video helps if you have any questions feel free to ask we are in a sideways trade we were in a sideways trading range for uh, some time you see from the month of april we went back up we shot up we shot down keep in mind i'm not a fundamental analyst or i don't really depend on fundamental news but fundamental analysis can really help you improve a lot i'm learning on it now opec countries and russia have decided to cut the crude oil output okay they are going to be working together so there is a possibility that we are struggling to go up we can't uh, break up due to this news that's were happening so there is a chance that crude oil might come back down and you know reverse back up we might see new highs and where would these highs go we can reach this area okay we can go here and if you really love the fibonacci tool if you like the fibonacci tool i want to draw fibonacci from here okay Keep in mind, this is my opinion, my belief. It is very, very easy for us to go between 51 to 61.8 percent level. This area, guys, this is where the market's gonna head anyway. Even if it's, let's say, if the market was today at 113 dollars a barrel, it will again come back here. If it's around 26 to 35 dollars a barrel, it will come around here, around 676 level. So let us assume. I'm assuming, or I'm anticipating. That when we have pull, further pullbacks in crude oil, we should next uh, the next high should really go to this 50% area, which is around $65 a barrel, around $65 a barrel to $76, $75 a barrel. Okay, that's my key target. Now you can decide and plan your trades accordingly. When the market takes a deep pullback, closes above the moving average, take some calculated position and start pyramiding, and in the long term, enjoy the growth in your account. Hope the video helps. If you have any questions, please feel to share your comments. And you can Skype me, prince.mohsin.golds. This is my Skype. And you can even WhatsApp me, plus 965-6612-1618. Have a great trading, trading week and wish you a lot of success. Bye-bye.